Hey guys, Shaggy here, right here, yay, yeah, Shaggy, and welcome to more GTA 5 racing on the PlayStation 4. Now we're bringing you three point views, all from podium uh, positions right now. And this awesome race because it was pretty much consistency throughout the entire time of eight laps. You see mistakes made by all of us actually throughout this entire thing. And it's quite difficult to be consistent when there's three players together for our eight lap straight. You know, it gets really, really tense. There's a lot of pressure applied in different positions. And you can see from these POVs how the situations are played out through different positions and how each player approach those situations, or how they attack and how they overtake. Listen, that. Um, I'm on the bottom, I'm the red car. Picano's top left in the blue car. And Uchiha, that's combo clutch on top right in the orange car. It's pretty awesome color combinations here. So anyway, the point is, I was actually going to do a breakdown of a video on this on this particular one on this particular race but uh, it turns out it's a nine minute long battle so it would have been a lot of you know a lot of things gone into this video with each situation I'm sure you probably get annoyed so I'd rather just show you the entire flow of it and then another episode I'll get another race and break that down for you for a small portion I don't want to drag on too much through breakdowns as it might annoy a lot of you. So the previous, the first episode was was perfect footage, as it was a small part. It was two laps, whereas this is constant eight lap battle, which is different. So I can sort of talk you through it. But first things first, right? One thing you notice throughout this entire race is that we actually don't hit each other. You know, the thing is, it's all consistent, but we individually make mistakes through whatever. You know, if we lost control of our car through oversteer, or if we, you know, took a very horrible line and got into a barrier or went wide or something, right? The point is, you know, we all were pretty close to each other. At some points, we're bumper to bumper, but it was consistent stuff and a lot of pressure was going down. And this is why GTA 5 racing is awesome because you get stuff like this and you're, you know, you're allowed to make your own racetracks by, you know, through content creator to get awesome battles like this where you restrict players to stick to the road and everything is fair. And you'll see how it goes. People have to take the appropriate lines to attack and overtake and defending and this and that. So this is a, yet again the same track that I posted a few, actually a few weeks back here where I had a battle against Picano where I was defending throughout the entire eight laps, not allowing him to overtake after he made a mistake of oversteering with the left hander that you saw halfway through this track. So what you notice now, Uchiha takes the lead and I'm second and Picano's third. So you can see how we approach these situations and you can see Picano is being extremely patient, uh, being at a third position for quite some time now. Whereas me, me and Yuchi are pretty much going at it through battles of trying to overtake, constant overtakes back and forth. So uh, you see, one thing that Yuchi made a mistake is oversteering can really make you lose out. Uh, that's the one thing I love about high-end tires where you have to pay attention to your car. At the same time, carrying optimal speed to defend your line as well. And if you push it too much and you do oversteer, then you, you will lose your position. That, that is where the skill gap comes into play. And that is what I love about these high-end tires. So anyway, one thing you notice, the only way you're going to get these consistent battles if you respect the drivers around you and understanding your surroundings. You know, a lot of people, right, I don't know why, but a lot of people don't seem to respect other drivers. And it, this turns out, it ends up being into a massive diarrhea of a washing machine collision, right? And that's not the way to go about it. A lot of people, this happens obviously at the start of a race. And one thing that pisses me off, and I will always shout this down the mic, right? If there's a lot of players over 10, you know, if there's 20, 10, 20 players and the first corner is coming up, the guy that is 15th position or 20th position, right? They need to be patient because if they rush and nosedive and bamboozle down like kamikaze bomber ass clout in the corner of the apex and takes everyone out, that that's going to make the gap from the podium bigger from the 20th position whereas if you are patient right and follow each other and really stick to your goddamn line then the gap is going to be smaller throughout the entire race and then you can work on your other corners and stick into your line the point is when you respect other drivers and not hit anyone at all which i'm still wanting to see to this very day of more than 10 drivers doing that on the first corner that is the day you're going to get awesome five, six, seven, eight, you know, consistent battles going on at different parts of the track. So you see that Uchiha makes a mistake. What the mistake he done there was following the line of Picano. And obviously when you follow someone, you quite often will get it wrong on the entrance and exit of a corner. But he does end up uh, catching up again when me and Picano make a mistake here. Watch it. This is actually quite funny. So I'm going to approach the first corner right now, right? And I'm going to 
not control my car, I'm gonna actually oversteer slightly. So right there, Picano, you know, exploits the gap, and at this point he oversteers. I had to react so quick and pinch my brakes there. If I had not done that, I would have bumbarassed his asshole right there, and he would have exploded. So. Yuchi now keeps up because of those two oversteers happening from both of us at different corners. But it was quite awesome now. I managed to get my position back. And this is awesome stuff because right behind Yuchi was another person called Maharayan. But he couldn't actually keep up because, um, I don't know, something happened to him. But at this point, Yuchi did oversteer. That's a quite tricky left-hander there. There's two tricky left-handers right here where you can't oversteer. The first left-hander is quite bumpy and then the... The uh, second left hand is rather tight and you can oversteer there at both points. you got to really control your car. But yeah, this is what I'm trying to say. GTA 5 Racing is awesome. And this is the beauty of it, right? This consistent, intense battles that a lot of people fail to see in the comments section. A lot of ignorance that I see in the comments when people tell you to go and play this, go and play that. You know, why are you taking this shit so seriously? The point is, it, this is much fun they're much more fun than any other game i've played so far because it's so intense fast paced and it requires a lot of reactions of thinking as well four process quick four process and really controlling your car at the same time obviously not to the extent of other racing games but the concept is still there the concept of racing will always be there racecraft is involved and uh, keeping up your pace is there and defending is there and attacking is there and that is what I love. Of course, it all comes down to getting the right set of players with the right mindset. That is up to you guys finding an appropriate crew to do that. There's a lot of crews out there who race cleanly like this. What you're seeing in the video right now where players do respect each other. But you've got to prove to yourself that you're capable of racing by doing that. By joining the crew, whatever process they have to join the crew. Uh, the crew that I am in currently at the moment called Sweat Buckets. We're an open crew. We are allowing anyone to join. So if you're wanting to join the community of competitive racing, you can do so, but you've got to prove it. If you're incapable of doing it, we are allowing you to practice. But as long as you respect the drivers, you know, in, the, in that lobby that you're going against. Now, let's say you're lacking pace, right? And you're not really, you know, let's say you're lacking pace, but you're not really sticking to the racing lines. And there's someone that is quicker than you, right? But if you are blocking their way from not allowing them to overtake when they're doing clean, you know, when they're approaching the clean overtake, unless you're blocking them, that's that's you not not being, you know, respectful. You know, it's not that's not different things a lot of people seem to not understand, you know. Yeah, you can race, right? You can race with me, but you gotta know how to race. You know, you can't just race with me and end up just blocking a road, you know. That, that's that's the difference, you know what I'm saying? Like like if you want to prove to yourself that you prove to me or prove to anyone in the lobby the crew whatever join you can join it's an open crew but just as long as you don't troll and you block the road and go the wrong side that's fine right and then we will transfer you onto the community crew where all the best races are there that is if you get to that stage so it's awesome we have this nice little nice little small community but it's quite sad that majority of gta 5 community prefer ramp races but that's understandable because people obviously play for fun and not take shit like this seriously picana does make a mistake there um so i managed to oh, see so yeah he, he lost a couple places of course back to third position but these things are getting a little bit interesting there at the end of the lap you can see how it makes an awesome comeback where you cheer second he's gonna attack for the podium as well he's well, I mean, all three of us are podium he's gonna attack for first spot but i really like this pov man imagine seeing four or five or six povs i think that'll be too much but we'll, we'll see anyway uh so yeah guys there are a lot of crews out there you can join nodo if you want there's a massive crew out there they're on a ps4 and xbox as well uh we're currently on the ps3 with sweat buckets so you know a lot of people i see in the comment section you know they want to race like this but they can't seem to find the right set of players but like i said i would advise you guys to join to join the racing um join ra racing crews out there that are suited for your style of racing so one thing you notice i did oversteer there and then Yuchio managed to grab the first position then he oversteered slightly uh this this is this is awesome right here double overtake coming in so me and picana grabbed it inside and we exploited Yuchia's mistake of going wide and then I grabbed the first position and then I should have actually broke early because now Picano grabbed the, grabbed the inside exploded me and this got, this is the last lap by the way so multiple overtakes coming in and then Picano seizes it out and ends up grabbing the win but this all came down to the last few corners man really pushing it and uh, keeping it clean at the same time. I overshot that corner, thinking that I can actually, you know, sort of push myself and really take the risk, but it didn't work out. At the end of the day, Picano grabs the win yet again, and you can see it was just a nice general battle with three of us together on the final lap, 
of an eight lap race. So this is pretty much is showing you GTA 5 racing as to why it's awesome and uh, how to actually, you know, end up just being together and really respecting the drivers around you and having fun. You know, this is why we race every single day. So really, I, I want you guys to see that from these perspectives and understand why it's awesome and why it's intense. And I want people to actually join the community. There are open crews out there like mine where you guys can join and come into my streams and race. And we've got these awesome circuit tracks for you guys to do so. So thanks for watching. Let me know your thoughts. Check your sign out. Good night. Peace. Yeah.